Carbidopa, Libidopa, and Tacopone, sold under the brand name Stilevo, is an anti-Parkinsonian dopaminergic combination medication that contains Carbidopa, Levodopa, and Entacopone for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. It is marketed by Swiss-based Novartis Pharmaceuticals and manufactured by Finnish drugmaker Orion Corporation. Medical uses Carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone was approved by the FDA in June 2003 to treat adults with Parkinson's disease of unknown cause in two scenarios. First, to substitute with equivalent strength of each of the three components for immediate release carbidopa, levodopa, and entacopone previously administered as individual products. Second, to replace immediate release carbidopa, levodopa therapy without entacopone when people experience the signs and symptoms of end of dose wearing off, but only for people taking a total daily dose of levodopa of 600 mg or less and not experiencing dyskinesias, it may help decrease a change of response to Parkinson's medications. Side effects Sometimes a wearing off effect may occur at the end of the dosing interval, where a patient may feel Parkinson's symptoms. Urine, saliva, or sweat may be discolored, dark colors such as red, brown, or black, after taking carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone. Prostate cancer On March 31, 2010, the United States Food and Drug Administration stated it is evaluating long-term clinical data from Stride PD which found that a greater number of patients taking Stilevo had prostate cancer compared to those taking carbidopa, levodopa. Other controlled clinical trials evaluating carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone or entacopone did not find an increased risk of prostate cancer. FDA is still reviewing the available information and has not concluded that carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone increases the risk of developing prostate cancer. Healthcare professionals were advised to be aware of this possible risk and follow current guidelines for prostate cancer screening. FDA recommended that healthcare professionals follow the recommendations in the drug label when prescribing carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone and comtan. Patients were directed to not stop taking their medication unless directed to do so by their healthcare professional. Cardiovascular risks on August 20, 2010, the United States Food and Drug Administration stated meta analysis of several studies appeared to show an increase in the risk of heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death for people taking the drug, but also stated, findings were not clear. Heart problems are not uncommon in Parkinson's patients and the FDA will investigate the concerns. Drug interactions Carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone is contraindicated in patients taking a class of antidepressant drugs known as non-selective monoamine oxidase MAO, inhibitors such as phenylzine and trenylcypramine. Combining carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone with these drugs could cause serious, possibly life-threatening, side effects. MAO inhibitors should be stopped at least two weeks before starting therapy with carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone. Carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone may be combined with the drugs risagiline or selegiline. These drugs are a different type of MAO inhibitor known as selective MAO inhibitors that are often prescribed for Parkinson's disease. Many drug interactions involving selegiline are theoretical, primarily based on interactions with non-selective MAO inhibitors. At oral doses the risk of these interactions may be very low. However, transdermal selegiline, known by its trade name MSAM, is still contraindicated. Transdermal selegiline results in higher plasma levels at which it behaves like a non-selective MAO inhibitor. Concomitant use of entacopone, a component of carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone, with MAO inhibitors may increase toxicity of MAO inhibitors. Levodopa, also a component of carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone, in combination with MAO inhibitors may result in hypertensive reactions. Dosing Carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone is supplied as tablets in six strengths. Adult dosing Parkinson's disease, idiopathic 
Maximum 1 tablet per dose, 8 tablets per day, all but the highest strength tablets, 6 tablets per day, Stilevo 200. Tablets are not to be cut, crushed, or chewed. Renal dosing Not defined. In severe impairment caution is advised. Hepatic dosing Not defined. In severe impairment caution is advised. Pediatric dosing Pediatric dosing is currently unavailable and or not applicable. Mechanism of action Levodopa is the immediate precursor to dopamine. And tacopone is a selective, reversible catechol o methyltransferase (COMT) inhibitor that increases the bioavailability of levodopa. And tacopone does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Carbidopa is a peripheral aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase (AADC) inhibitor. Carbidopa, which also does not cross the blood-brain barrier, is combined with levodopa to prevent its conversion to dopamine in the periphery. Society and culture. Extension As of 2010 applications for extending the indication of carbidopa, levodopa, and tacopone to people requiring initiation of levodopa therapy have been under review by the European Medicines Agency EMEA, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, based on the favorable results from First Step, a study conducted in North America and Europe by Novartis from 2005 to 2007 see below. See also Carbidopa Levodopa and Tacopone References External links Official website